Hello there. Good morning to you. This is Kakaki Social. Thank you so much for joining us again this new week. President Bala Ahmed Tinubu has urged all Nigerians to rededicate themselves to strengthening democratic rule that has been the nation's guiding light in the past 24 years. The president said this on Monday in his first nationwide broadcast to commemorate June 12 Democracy Day. He asked Nigerians not to take democracy for granted, but forever jealously guard and protect it like a precious jewel. Tinubu noted that the democracy M.K. Abiola died for is that one that promotes the welfare of the people over personal interests of the ruling class and one where the government can find personal fulfillment and happiness. President Tinubu held the contributions of heroes of democracy such as Kudirat Abiola, as the wife of Chief Abiola, Pa Alfred Ruwani, Major General Sheu Musa Yaradwa, saying that they gave their yesterday for the liberty that is ours today. He promised that his administration would repay Nigerians for their sacrifice through massive investment in transportation, infrastructure, education, regular power supply, healthcare, and other public utilities that will improve the quality of lives and property. To another story now, the biggest news of the weekend is definitely that of the suspension and the eventual arrest of the Central Bank of Nigeria's Governor Godwin Emifiele. The President, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, ordered his immediate suspension over ongoing investigation and of that of his office and planned reforms into the nation's financial sector. Subsequently, he was arrested in Lagos while trying to flee Nigeria through the land border. Some of the charges that may be brought against the Mifile include terrorism, financing, fraudulent activities and involvement in economic crimes of national security dimension. Meanwhile, human rights lawyer Femi Falano is asking the DSS to shun every temptation of bungling the case and hand him over to the EFCC as the DSS lacks the power to investigate and prosecute a mafia in respect of allegations of money laundry and other economic crimes. So that was a mafia right there while he was um, on his way to Abuja, of course, being forced back to Abuja from Lagos. Let's have some reactions to this now. Tommy is saying that I know said to Nibu Nofi forgive this man. Good for him for making us buy Naira with Naira. Mm. An experience a lot of people would remember. Sunday says, since Emefele did everything under the watchful eye of Buhari and support, I suggest any investigation into the affairs of his office should also extend to Buhari's office too for justice and equity. Ayomide says, Nigeria is funny though. Someone scammed the whole country with Nigerian air scandal. He wasn't arrested, but they are arresting someone who couldn't allow them access to cash to rig election, even though they used INEC to achieve same aim against the wishes of the people. For this other user tweeting at humankind, he says, the problem isn't the arrest, but the choose and pick approach. This man didn't act alone. General Dia asked, where is Bami, Bamai? I also hope that Bola Ahmed Tinubu isn't trying to use this to assert authority as a new commander in chief. The more arrests he makes, the more quickly he crits, um, his critics would shrink. Joseph says they should please release him to the general public. We want to tell him something. <laughs> I just can't imagine what we have to tell a Mayfield that he has to be released to us. Now, this is not an advice that we need to listen to at all because I can predict what the case would be for him. Now, a former Abia state governor and the chief whip of the outgoing ninth legislative, that's them, the Senate, Oji Uzokalu, during the valedictory session to mark the end of the night Senate, cried out for being called a thief in the country despite his contribution to nation building. He decried how Nigeria hasn't been fair to some of our leaders and even citizens. Well, he thanks his colleagues of the upper chamber for standing by him during his difficult times. Before I came into politics, I can buy anything but I can buy. I'm not a thief. Those that put me in prison, no reason they put me in prison. They took over all my businesses. I want to kill me. But I survived it. When the PDP that I was governor for two times was being formed, I brought every money they used in forming that party. 
every penny in 1997 and 98. And I later became a thief. And people I gave transport money from my house in VI, VI became agents. This is what Nigeria represents. I want to thank my colleagues for giving me these four years of uninterrupted support. Because this country is not fair to so many of us. I built this country, I employed 13,800 workers. People employ not nobody. And nobody asks them their source of wealth. All right, over to some reactions now. Blessed is saying that, sir, you need to build more bridges. This cry is coming from the pain of APC denying Southeast opportunity to present the next Senate president. You just have to keep building bridges until you, Igbo leaders, realize that united we stand and divided we fall. For MDK, he says, this is why is Okay, this is why is it good to keep your hands clean and try to do good. Some of us despise this man because of how he looted Abbey State and not because of anything else. He's supposed to be one of the leading voices in the South East, but see him crying before baby politicians. And more reactions coming in now from Ijoma. She says he made some points that cannot be ignored, but still a definition of a little too late. And for another user tweeting at Bello, he says crocodile tears <laughs> that cannot get us, Baba. All the factories you claimed you built, the money is from where? Okay. And to our final story today, a chef from Ekiti State, Damilola Ade Barusi, is attempting to become the only individual in the world to have cooked for 120 hours in a cookathon. She started midnight June, and so far she's cooked for about 80 hours. She's been under heavy criticism, particularly because another chef, Hilda Bassi, who made same effort only a few weeks ago, is yet to be certified by Guinness World Record as a latest holder of the title after she cooked for a hundred hours in Lagos. Well, for those frowning at her actions, it is pure sabotage of Hilda, born out of jealousy, while for those on the other side of the table, some set the record while others break it. So let's see how it's been happening so far on the internet. African Blood is saying that it's complicated. Hilda recently just attempted a record-breaking cookathon, and it hasn't even been certified by the Guinness World Records. This attempt by Dami can be seen as an attempt to steal the spot light from Hilda. Khalifa says Hilda also broke someone else's record so there's no law that says no one should break hers. Dami is just trying her best to make a name for herself just like Hilda did so she's right. Go Dami. Keep that change says there are so many other things she would have done. This is pure jealousy, hatred and daftness. There is no altar of competition in this. At least allow Hilda get the certification then you try. People are so dubious that even Satan is in shock. <laughs> well, over to some reactions again. Well, Hilda has also come outside to say that, oh, <laughs> It's her choice. It's good that she's doing what she's doing. And more reactions. Someone actually wants Hilda to say, okay, when she's broken the record, I want you to also come out to congratulate her. And she says, women supporting women in the mod. She's absolutely wrong, I beg, not to even mention the way she's been shading Hilda. She could have politely picked another thing and not cooking. Well, Chen says, I will never understand why a lot of people are tagging Chef Dami jealous. Jealous of who and what exactly? They are both from different states and obviously do not know each other. Yes, we agree that she seemed unprepared, but who said one has to figure it out? Um, before she start, then this is Hilda Bassi's tweet where she says, the beauty of dreams is that they are unique to each individual. Dami, your boldness to take on a cooking challenge shows that passion knows no limit. Embrace the journey, learn from every experience and inspire others with your unwavering support. And she's using the hashtag dreams on list. But while reacting to that is Jagaban TM trademark who says, make sure you congratulate Dami when she beats your 100 hours by Monday, keep the, smart, uh, the spot manship. 
Nawaz says, forget this isn't from your heart. We all know women don't support women at all. So get your act. And well, someone is supporting Hilda. Bola says, Hilda, God will bless you for me 100 folds. Your head is still in the right place. I am more proud of you even now. We surely do rise by lifting others. You have opened the way and many shall thread it. Continue to inspire. And the last reaction is coming in from her first lady, Ekiti State Governor's wife, who is tweeting at Dr. Olayemi Oyebanje, who says, For me, it's our courage and determination to stand for something positive, using her God-given talent to make a statement. Ms. Damilola Adeparosi surely has our love and support as she forges ahead to make this bold statement. Well, yes, this video is here, the 30 seconds video where she was dancing when she clogged 50 hours. <laughs> Well, that's everything on Kakaki Social today. Thank you so much for staying with us. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.